Hi guys! Um, this is a video I haven't filmed before, or if I have it was ages ago, and I'm so excited. Don't really have a plan for it, but just thought it could be a fun little thing we could do together if you're just relaxing and want to hang out with me. I'm getting ready to go to work. I have like like 45 minutes to get ready, including picking an outfit. And I thought I'd video it because I'm home alone and post it. But I don't, my camera literally died. So I'm filming off my phone. So hopefully the quality is all right. But I thought we could just chat and do our makeup together. I have some makeup on from today. So I'm gonna start off by taking that off. Naomi's in Sydney right now, living her best life. But yeah, she's in Sydney right now with her grandparents. Amy's my housemate, if you don't know, my bestie. So I've been here by myself. But surprisingly, I've actually been, it's been good to force me out doing stuff. I went out the other night. <laughs> I literally was working. It was on a Tuesday night. We have karaoke at our, like one of our clubs that we own. And I was working and it hit like 12 o'clock and there was like this security like party. I think it was like someone's birthday. Anyway, I was at the front of the club and the guys were like, come on, like, you should hop off work and come drink with us. And I was like, babes, I don't drink, first of all. Second of all, I drove here. So my car's literally out the back. And third of all, I'm not going out there. Like, that's too anxious. Who, like, that's so scary. And I have a dog to come home to. But anyway, I was like, fine, I'll do some shots. So we went to one of the clubs that do like really fancy shots. Actually, I should moisturize first. Really fancy shots. And I don't even know, man. Like I think three, three of them bought me three different shots. Then I was like, okay, well, I'm on my opens. So I have to, have to drink water for the next three hours until 3 a.m. So that I'm gonna be able to drive. And then we went back to the club and they're still trying to buy me drinks. And then I ended up just leaving work and partying with these guys. And it was actually the best night ever. I had so much fun. I really enjoyed myself. I don't usually, I never go out ever, let alone with people I don't even know, but it was really good. They're actually lovely. And I met an older guy that was like talking to me about like investing, like house deposits, like business, marketing, like it was actually a really good night, do brows. But anyway, tonight is a Friday night. I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm gonna come home straight after work tonight. I'm a marketing manager. So I go to the club and like, just make sure it's going smoothly. I take pictures for the venue, post on the social media. We have promoters. So like girls that will like take pictures throughout the week to promote our club, but then they come in and they bring a guest list. So I manage them and I make sure they're posting. I take off their guest list at the door, stuff like that. That's what I do on the weekend. And then during the week I do like office work like office marketing for the same business, but we have three different venues. So I do all the social media and stuff for those. And I love it. Literally love this job, love the people I work with. Like it's actually really good and I'm really grateful. There, guys, as you can see there, they got to my cotton pads. There is literally my cotton pads all over the apartment. So like, Anyway, okay, let me show you a little bit what I'm doing. So I just put this Tarte drink of H2 on my face. It's like for like a hydrating moisturizer. And now I'm just using, I literally don't use expensive makeup. Like this is like probably Maybelline or something. I'm like so low key. I used to spend so much money on makeup in Brisbane, but now I don't at all really. Yeah, that looks good actually. And then I'm just gonna carve them out. I wanted to answer questions that boys ask girls on here, but I need my phone for that because I needed to look at the TikTok. It was like a TikTok saying boys ask girls answer. And I was looking through the questions and it actually broke my heart. Like the questions that boys are asking about girls, like are they good enough? Is it okay if they're clingy? Blah, blah, blah. And it actually broke my heart. So I wanted to make a whole video answering those questions for the guys. But yeah, my camera died, so I can't, I don't know what the questions are because you're on my phone. But it was just like questions like, what were the questions? They were like, I literally can't remember. But if you're a guy watching this, just know that you are good enough, literally just the way you are. Like you don't need to go to the gym and get all bulked up or like 
go to the gym for your mental health like that's like i recommend that but like i mean like oh like a problem with guys in this generation or maybe it's been always but I don't know, they just have such a big ego and I know that that's not who they are. It really breaks my heart to see like guys, I don't know, always like trying to act tough and stuff. I don't know if that's coming out right. It's really sad because like I just wish they knew that like girls like soft, emotional, vulnerable guys or at least I do. Like I don't want someone to be all tough and think they have to look cool and be cool in front of your friends. You need <laughs> friends that will let you be emotional and let like let you actually show your feelings if you're a guy watching this just be yourself and be like be a little child like go do fun stuff like you don't have to be this big tough guy like someone's gonna love you for exactly who you are you don't need to like just please <laughs> yes you can be clingy yes you can be loud yes you can have a weird laugh like who cares like you're so lovable i just wish guys knew that anyway <laughs> Same with the girls watching this, like, be yourself. You're gonna, like, be so loved. Someone's gonna love you for exactly who you are. You don't need to, you don't need to, like, change who you are for anyone or you don't need to, like, go and get your nails done and your lashes done if you don't want to. Like, make sure you're doing everything for you first. What you would do if you never, ever had a partner in your, like, if you knew you're never, ever gonna have a partner in your life, do that and someone's gonna love that. I promise. But it's a hard generation we live in. I feel for everyone. Like, there's so much pressure. I don't know. I just love people so much for who they are. And I love when people, like, know that they can be 100% themselves around me. And I'll just, like, love them so much. Like, no one has to pretend to be anyone else. <laughs> makes me so sad. It actually makes me so sad. But I also get it. Anyway, now... I am putting on some elf concealer, literally $15 from Kmart, and just doing it under my eyes, on my nose, then on my forehead. I think I put a little bit on my chin as well, and it'll just like brighten up the area. I really don't like my eyebrows tonight, but I don't really care. I don't really care enough, but then I'll get the Tarte Tape Shade. I guess this is a bit expensive. I just got this on like some five for a hundred something deal. I'll put this on like all the pimples because it's really good coverage. Elf is a really good coverage too. But this is just to make sure it stays covered during the night. A little bit here. There. There. And blend that in like that. Anyway, wife update. Anyone that cares? I'm living in a like i've moved from brisbane i don't live in brisbane anymore i live in a town that's across from my family i have a dog now i literally regret so much not post like vlogging when i got him vlogging like when he was a little puppy like he's about 12 weeks now so he's still like small but um i literally like wasn't in the mood to vlog at all like i was going through it when I got him. <laughs> but I remember like telling myself, come on Sam, you gotta get up and vlog, you gotta get up and vlog, you gotta get up and vlog, you wanna see this as a memory. But I didn't end up doing that. But there's photos on my Instagram. Thank God I took some photos and videos. But he was so little, it was so cute, but he's growing so fast, it's actually so scary. But he is literally my freaking like, I can't even imagine what my life was like without him. Like I can't believe I ever did life without a dog. Like it has actually changed my, it's just helped me so much with my mental health. It's make, like, it gives you a purpose, like you're a mom. Like if you don't have a dog, get a dog. Like if you live away from your family, you're just by yourself and you go to bed at night, like get a dog. Like they literally, like my dog sleeps on me, on my neck every night. Like I always feel like I'm never alone. I know that probably sounds cringy, but it helps me so much with my mental health. I just love him so much. I was actually looking at him today and I was thinking, damn, the fact that you're not gonna be around for ever and you're going to have like a you know lifespan in 12, 18 years, literally made me like nearly cry. I was just thinking about it. I was like, nah, don't think about that. It was actually so sad. <sighs> anyway, I won't talk about dogs too much because now I won't be able to relate and I get bored. I'm gonna use this Fenty Beauty foundation. I only wear foundation when I'm at the club on the weekends. Um, just to kind of have more coverage but other than that i literally wear concealer only during the week but i like to do a little bit of foundation coverage i put on a tan last night so we're gonna try and make it match guys look i don't know if you can tell but i got scratches all over me it's 
that's how you know you have a dog. That's my dog. Literally every time I come home, I have to like hold his paws because he like would literally make my lips bleed. We love, we love our little bear. How cute is the name Bear too? It was actually named his sister that came up with the name. We were like in the car after we bought him and we're like thinking of names and she was like Bear and I was like, holy, like I love that name. And then we like started thinking of some other ideas and I just couldn't get Bear out of my head. So Bear was like at the top of the list, but we still weren't sure. I was like, let's wait a couple days to like, oh, here we are talking about dogs again, sorry. But let's wait a couple days to finalize that name and like kind of get to know his personality and i took him home my parents were laugh like my dad was laughing at the name bear he thought it was so gross he was like it's, that's a freaking weird name no and i was like oh actually yeah maybe you're right and then we were thinking like cash or um there was another one i was thinking about quite a lot i got my lashes done today so i can't get them wet but but yeah anyway it was like five days in and then we were like trying to think of another name because i just didn't think bear suited him and we ended up keeping it at Bear. <laughs> and now I couldn't think of anything different. Bear is so him. His paws had gotten like so big. So he just looks like a little bear. I don't know. I love him. Love him so much. All right. So once that is done, by the way, I use the shade 290. Any of you? Oh, apparently it looks like it doesn't match, but it does in the mirror. Oh well, it's right, it's dark in the club. Does everyone else always use that excuse? I need to powder my face now. So, Fit Me powder and um, this Emco Beauty pressed powder. It's like the Charlotte Tilbury dupe. I had the Charlotte Tilbury one and I dropped it at the club and it all shattered everywhere. Do you know how my heart just broke in that moment? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Benz and Charlotte Tilbury and just broke everywhere. Here's what it is, I guess. Can't believe I'm filming my phone. Like, I literally have a camera I could film it on and. Well, it wasn't turning on. I didn't even see it was flat, so I really hope it's not broken. But we'll see, I guess. Okay, that's done. I'll put a little bit of this pressed powder on. I don't know if this is doing anything. I only just got this. Okay, whatever, that's good enough. Now comes her my little favorite. So I use, I think this is Mega, Morphe. Oh, this is Morphe Glamour Bronze Face and Body Bronzer. The shade Trail Blazer. Look, I literally stepped on it and it smashed. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's sling snatch our faces. What is that? Mm. Chunk of my face that just came off. So bronzer, always put it like, not like in the middle, put it, always put it above and brush up. You want it as high as possible. So don't do it in your line, do it up. You want to bring that bronzer up because it's giving you the cheekbone lift. Doing that and then I bring it up around my face sides called temples a little bit up here top of your face sorry not in the center and then under my nose the sides of my nose i'm not like a nose contour girl i don't even know how to do it so i just like a big brush i'll put some of my eyelids as well because i usually like might usually like do a little bit of eyeshadow but because i can't get my lashes wet i don't want to have to like scrub off eyeshadow tonight so i'm just gonna do a little bit of contour up here which will make such a difference, makes you look so jory, guys. I'm actually getting so insecure about my wrinkles. They're so normal, like, they're so normal. But in my head, I'm like, oh my god, like, what is going on? I want to get Botox. And it is up. You don't need that. It's just me being absolutely silly. The lip makes your bottom lip look bigger if you put bronzer under there. And then a little bit more on the cheekbones because you want them to be really dark. Sometimes I like to bring it up a little bit from under my jaw because otherwise it can look a little bit too obvious. We don't want people knowing. We want people to think this is their natural slim cut face. What do you mean? All right. Then I'm actually really nervous for time. Like I'm really stressing. I'm anyway, this is, I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Charlotte Tilbury. I'm setting powder, but that's just too expensive for now. So I use this now and it's perfect. So don't spend your money, girl. Go and buy this all under my eyes. Really brighten. Oh my god, there's definitely like a lash or something in my eye. Really brighten up. What the fuck? Really brighten up this area. Cause I used to only do it under my eyes and bring it out. But if you've ever used the face app editing app for your Instagram photos. When you put the kiss filter on, which is what a lot of people use, I was like looking at it, I'm like, what actually is it doing to my face? Cause it just, you just don't really notice a difference. It's hard to like kind of see. So I like zoomed in and did it, zoomed up and looked at it. And it's like brightening your skin almost like around here, I noticed, and up here. 
like it brightens it and for some reason it makes you look so good so yeah now i bring this bright powder down a little bit so it brightens it you know just trying to fake this filter in real life but and then i'll do a nice big chunk on my forehead as well down my nose a little bit chin a little bit and then under those contour lines so lay all right now one of my favorite parts ever is blush so this is sephora sweet are you oh i wish naomi's was here she would have taken it to sydney oh my god guys she has the nicest one ever it's a dior one it is so pretty i actually want to buy it she said she's had it for years too it's so nice it literally is like a fairy color it's so nice this is the color of this one I never used to wear blush, but then I met my friend Maddie in Brisbane and we'd get ready to work at the club together. We both worked at the same club and she'd wear blush and I'd be like, oh my god, like I never wear blush, like should I try it? She's like, yeah, try it. And I've literally never turned back since. It just makes you look like girly and pretty, like a fairy. <laughs> I think that's enough, Sam. I'm going a bit overboard now. I feel like it's not coming off the freaking brush. Can you guys see it? <sighs> Face, nearly done. I want to do the eyes now because eyes oh my god guys this is what i do okay so this here is literally i think it's from like rimmel and maybelline it's just a black pencil under waterline pen i always fill in my waterline black guys like this makes such a difference you need to do this fill in my waterline black right to the end and sometimes even like the little waterline at the top right in the middle just like that okay and then and then i get a black this is actually a brown, I think, yeah. But it's a like a water, like a liquid eyeliner pen thing. And I use that to draw in a little point in my eyes. So it like makes my eyes look pointy at the front, like a cat. You know what I mean? Cause I want to be a cat so bad. <laughs> do a little flick. Oh, maybe I won't do a little. Mm. Yeah, no, I won't do a flick at the end. But sometimes I'll do eyeliner at the end. But yeah, bring in that little cat eye i use this benefit roller lash it's actually my mum's but i stole it she never realized um and oh it's really good it doesn't smudge or anything and it's like not clunky or anything Ta-da! like literally look at my eyes i literally think this is like pretty much the last thing I'm doing some highlighter i know guys just hold up i'll blend it in a sec just look at that insane this is two years old nearly three years old and it literally has only just hit the bottom so good it's from i've put so many friends on it it's from mecca it's their highlighter they have a silver one and a gold one this is the silver one or like the pinky one it's so pretty guys like i get so many compliments on this go and get that queens if you have any eyebrow products that you swear by please let me know because i don't really know eyebrows have never been like a specialty of mine also, let me know if you want me to do more makeup. Like, get ready with me. So, like, chat. I feel like, I feel like this is boring for you. <laughs> but if you like, just, like, sitting and, like, doing makeup and chatting. I will be more than happy to do this. I could do this every night when I go to work. But I also want to, like, start doing some eyeshadow looks with you as well. Because I love, that's what I, like, love about makeup is fun eyeshadow looks. Never wear them out, but they're just fun to do in my bedroom. All right. You need to buy a lip liner. Does no No freaking way. She does. Oh, legend. My girl coming through. Oh, this is a really nice color too. I literally do a different thing for my lips every single night. Just depending on what lip product I can find. But line those babies up. And then I always blend it in. Lately, I've been using this Elizabeth Arden like pink color. I know, right? I never thought I'd ever wear pink. Like just a little bit. It just makes me feel girly, you know? I do love being girly. I think that is it. Now I use Urban Decay All Night Art Setting Spray. Have I actually done everything though? I forgot I'm not supposed to wear my lashes. Oops. Oops, a daisy. Oops, a daisy. All right look at that and that is my makeup ready for the club <laughs> gotta go get far my outfit now i don't know what i'm gonna wear but i always just resort to jeans and a t-shirt <laughs> 
not very interesting, but I hope just hope people know I'm working and that's not what I'd wear out. Not that there's anything wrong with wearing that out. You know what? When I went out the other night, I wore that. So, slay. Slay to casual outfits wearing them out. I'm used to Brisbane, alright? Where you wear like corset tops. Dress it up, but I do love a casual fit. Anyway, I'm just ranting because I'm freaking out about picking an outfit, but thank you for watching. I feel like this is so boring, but just let me know. If it is boring, like, maybe don't tell me, but like, let me know if you liked it, please, because then it'll, I'll film some more. Next time I do it, I want to do some like topics and talk about topics or answer questions or whatnot, because I feel like it'd make it like interesting. Thank you for watching. Um, I do this every night. This is literally my main products I use. And yeah, there's not much more to it. Um, I hope you all have a great rest of your week, a great weekend. Do something special for yourself, a little self-care, self-love thing. Yeah. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.